FileMaker manages files very well and makes a great knowledge base to store PDFs, pictures, audio, movies, Word documents, and anything else you might have on your hard drive. Let's start simple by adding a container field to store a picture of a contact. So we're going to go into Manage Database. Now we've already made one container field. That was our X container, if you remember our X attachment. We use it as a global field for our correspondence. We're going to add a regular container field. So let's type it in here. We'll create our picture field. Click OK and we'll go into layout mode. Now container fields can store, like I said, any kind of file. But we're going to start with the picture here and we're going to fit it right inside here. So we're going to move this, these two buttons over to the left of the company. Get them right up there, that looks good. Make sure they're anchored to the right place now. They've got to be anchored to the left. We'll make this a little bit smaller. There we go. And make it a little bit taller just in case it goes down to an extra line and then make the age a little bit smaller. That should be fine because it's going to have plenty of space there. So we'll drag on our field, choose our picture field, and try to fit it in there nicely. And remember, this stuff's getting bigger, right? So we're going to keep this over to the right side. We'll put it right in there. Let's see, that looks pretty good right there. I think it looks pretty nice there. Okay, so I've got a position where I want. So let's go to browse mode and try it out. So what you need to do is click into your field and go to the insert menu and you'll see that we have four choices here, picture and file. Picture refers to a JPEG or PNG or any of the file formats that FileMaker supports. File of course means a general, any kind of file that you have on your hard drive and we'll look into those later. But why is audio, video, and PDF not uh, available. Well the main reason why it's not available other than installation issues would be that you don't have it set as interactive. So you can see there's this option down here under the last tab of the inspector. You can set it to interactive of course playback automatically that'd be the audio or the video and the PDF has interactivity. So if, once we click that then you'll see when we click in there we can actually insert an audio video or PDF. But we're going for a picture here, so we're just going to go ahead and switch that back. Go into browse mode. And so all you do is go and insert picture and then locate the picture you want. And it should fit in there nice and you get a nice little picture of somebody. Now you can play around with some of the settings if you want. In this case it might not be a good idea, but you can choose to enlarge image to fit crop it, like if we crop it, look what happens. You can see that it's going to go ahead and just be a picture of my lips there. That's probably not very good. In fact, probably the best way to test this out and see how it looks with a uh, sample picture is to turn on sample data. Always one of those things I forget to try. So now we can come in here and see what it looks like. We'll say, okay, enlarge image to fit. That didn't really help out. We'll try to go ahead and reduce it again or we can try to reduce or enlarge. So probably in this case the best choice is reduce image to fit. And you also have this option maintain original proportions. You can see that's a key one. I don't want to look that that big. That's not a good idea, a good look for me. And one thing I might do in this case, rather than having all those edges there, let's take off all this stuff. I don't care if the picture goes to the edge. Looks good to me that way anyhow, and that will give us a bigger picture there. There we go. And you can see for a standard picture size, we probably don't need that much space. So I'm going to reduce it a little bit. All depends. You've got to do a little bit of a experimentation to see how it looks. And that looks pretty good. We'll leave it right there. Go back into browse mode. Actually, I'm going to turn off the sample data. We don't need that. But before we go into browse mode, let's go ahead and make it easier for people to insert. So back into browse mode, we'll see that you need to click there and then go to the insert menu and choose picture. You want to make sure it's not confusing for them. So let's go ahead and take out my picture here. Just deleted it. It's very easy to do. Come over here to the placeholder which we've used many times before and I'm just going to type in some text. Click here and choose picture 
from the insert menu. Simple as that. Check over the spelling, looks pretty good. Now we go into browse mode. And that looks pretty good. Now you can see that in this case we might want to have a little padding on each side. So let's go ahead and try that just a little bit. Sometimes you have to play around with these things to get them just right. So I'm going to add one to each side here. Go into browse mode, see how it looks. That looks a lot better already, so we're good with that. So all you have to do is, okay, click here and choose picture. Okay, click here. Still showing up even though you're clicked in there. Insert picture. Good. Very easy to do, right? Makes it really simple for somebody to follow that when you're trying to make a good, easy interface.